leeks, dragons, and daffodils. Oh my, what do you think these three things have in common? Welcome to Fun Facts. We're bringing you real facts about real people, places, animals, and science every Monday and Wednesday. If you guessed that leeks, daffodils, and dragons are all symbols of whale, then you're correct. And you can see all of these symbols on March 1st in Wales. March 1st is St. David's Day, a day that's celebrated by many people in Wales, even if the whole country isn't Christian. But why are these things symbols of Wales? Daffodils are pretty common in Wales and also bloom just before St. David's Day. Leeks are a vegetable kind of like a green onion that are very common in Welsh cooking, but they also originate further back in Welsh history. St. David, when he was leaving, leading his troops into battle, told them to put a leek on their clothes so that they would be able to tell each other apart from the enemy. But what about dragons? Are there any real dragons in Wales? Well, there might not be, but they've still been a symbol of Wales for an awfully long time. A long time ago, the ancient Romans used to go into battle with a dragon-shaped flag. Since then, many of the leaders of Great Britain have used the dragon as a symbol of their power. Famously, Owain Glendower raised the flag of the dragon when he revolted against the English. See, the English controlled Wales for a long time. In fact, English kings, when they had their first son, that son was named the Prince of Wales. Nowadays, we still call the oldest son of the King of England the Prince of Wales. However, Glendower named himself the Prince of Wales. This was very upsetting to the English. The English, in fact, tracked down Glendower's soldiers and captured them all. They tried to capture Glendower too, but he escaped. In fact, some people believe that Glendower is still alive today. Wales is home to many legends. One such legend is the legend of the Wyvern. A wyvern is kind of like a dragon, except instead of four legs, it only has two. So basically, it's a long flying snake with two legs. The wyvern would steal food and livestock from the farmers just to eat it all himself. So one day, a brave villager slayed the wyvern, or at least according to legend. But part of this story is not legend, and that is the fact that there are many farmers in Wales. Even though Wales is cold, and the soil is poor and the elevation is high, which is not very good for growing plants, there are still a lot of farmers in Wales, like I said. So, what do these farmers grow? Well, farmers in the south of Wales do grow crops, but a lot of farmers raise animals. Even if Wales isn't great for growing crops, it's great for raising animals. That's because there's a lot of grass for them to feed on. Cattle is one of the type of animals found in Wales. In fact, there's a specific kind called the Black Welsh, that's native to Wales. They're a black cow-like animal with white horns with black tips on the end. Besides cattle, there are a lot of sheep in Wales. Like, a lot. Like there are three times as many sheep as there are people in Wales. Unlike animals, humans obviously don't eat grass. So what do the people in Wales eat? Mostly, Welsh food is very heavy. That's because oftentimes a Welsh farmer would have to have one meal that would sustain him for the whole day. That meant that the food had to be very filling. The food itself was based on what was available to the Welsh people, like veggies and lamb and beef, and oftentimes fish. That's because Wales is surrounded on three sides by water. The only part of Wales that touches another country is its eastern border with England. In fact, even though Wales is its own country, it's part of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. The other countries include, well, obviously, England, Scotland, and Northern Ireland. For more books about the United Kingdom, I recommend checking out Celtic Myths by Catherine Forrester, available on Hoopla with the link in the description of this video. And I also recommend, for more information about Wales, checking out Wales, Enchantments of the World. Thanks for watching. Bye.